Kiki, where are we at? We are at TSU, Tennessee State University. There's that going on over there. Be in the video. Talk. We're being hardcore judged right now. Walking and driving tour of Nashville's civil rights movement. Hi, I'm Maddie Rodiger, and I'm here with Kimora Wright, Mackenzie Ross, and Koya Watkins. Now, Koya, can you tell us about TSU? It was founded in 1912 really? <laughs> as a Tennessee Agricultural and Teacher Training Institute. And um, tell me more. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Sorry, there's all night due to find noise in the background. Yeah. Continue. And uh, many of the teachers and students are involved in sit-ins in the 1950s. Very interesting. That's all for today. Back to you. downtown Nashville right now as Miss Kelly is driving us and if you look to the left you see the Davidson County Public Building Meek School was established in 1883 as an African American elementary school. In 1886, an African American woman named Sandy Porter attempted to enroll her son, James Rice Porter, in the All White Fog High School in downtown Nashville, where he was denied admission on account of his race. After Porter and the black community protested to the Board of Education and City Council that Nashville provided no high school facilities for their children, they converted Meeks into the city's first black high school. to desegregate, admitting four African-American first graders who attended despite a hostile atmosphere. Some 200 protesters surrounded the whole school and it received bomb threats prior to the Hattie Cotton School being firebombed shortly after the <laughs> Starbucks, Kimora. This mine. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Just one block east of Harvey's Klein Kane's Lone site. What did it get? Was the site of the <laughs> second test sit in on December 5th, 1959, oh. and was later a target during the actual sit in campaign on February 9th. 27, 1960. The main building was located across the street from this location and was eventually demolished for a parking lot. But by, by, by 1960, the store was expanded into St. Cloud's Corner. Bless you. And now it's Puckett's Grocery, which is very good and I really recommend it. This used to be Harvey's department store. Harvey's was one of the largest and most popular department stores in downtown Nashville. From 1930s 
1942 until 1984. Uh, because its conspicuous location and the fact that many black Nashvilleans shop there, it was chosen as the site of the first of two test sit-ins conducted by students on November 28, 1959. The test sit-ins were intended to officially demonstrate that downtown lunch counters were segregated, a move that gave legitimacy to the students' crusade. Harvey's was also the first of two downtown retailers, along with Kane Sloan Department Store, to succumb to the protesters' pressure and des desegregate its lunch counters. On May 10, 1960, most of Harvey's complex was demolished for a parking lot in 1990s, but a corner section of the store remains at the corner of 6th Avenue and Church Street. Walgreens lunch counter was the site of a sit-in on February 20th, 1960, and the second was on February 20th, 